Cancer-Related Lymphedema. Lymphedema is a buildup of clear lymphatic fluid under the skin, which causes swelling. The location and amount of swelling is different for each person. It is most often seen in one or both of your arms or legs. This swelling can also be found in the breast, head, neck, or genitals. Lymphedema can happen to both men and women. There is no cure for this problem. However, with early diagnosis, treatment, and ongoing care, lymphedema can be managed to help reduce the swelling and pain. To understand lymphedema, it is important to know how your lymphatic system works. Your body has a large system of lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and lymphatic tissue. The lymph vessels work to move lymphatic fluid throughout your body. Lymphatic fluid carries white blood cells that help fight infection. Lymph nodes act as filtering stations to help your body's natural defense system fight off bacteria and viruses. The lymphatic system is an important part of your body's immune system. If any part of the lymphatic system is damaged or missing, the lymphatic fluid can start to collect in the tissue in a part of your body and cause swelling. This swelling can cause this tissue in your body to harden. If extra fluid stays in your body tissue, it can make it difficult for oxygen and other important nutrients to get to the area. As a result, there is a higher risk of infection in the swollen tissue, and it may be harder for a wound in this area to heal. There are different types of lymphedema. The most common type happens because of some type of damage to the lymphatic system. This can be due to trauma, injury, cancer, surgery, radiation therapy, infection, or being overweight. In many cases, cancer or cancer treatment is the cause. For example, surgery to remove a tumor can result in the removal or damage of lymph nodes or lymph vessels. The more lymph nodes affected, the higher your chance of having lymphedema symptoms. Radiation therapies used to destroy cancer cells can also injure healthy parts of the lymphatic system in the area where radiation is given. In some cases, the cancer tumor itself may cause the damage to your lymphatic system. Symptoms of lymphedema are different for each person. These symptoms show up most often within the first two to three years following treatment. Lymphedema can often develop very slowly. Early symptoms of lymphedema may include a feeling of heaviness or tightness, aching or fatigue in an arm, leg, or other part of your body. Swelling may or may not be present at this time. Tell your doctor as soon as possible if you have any of these symptoms. Treatment may help to slow, prevent, or even reverse lymphedema at this early stage. If lymphedema gets worse, you may see a hand, foot, or other part of your body begin to look swollen. You may have jewelry that feels tight or see a change in the way your shoes or clothing fit. This swelling may increase and become more uncomfortable. The skin in the swollen part of your body may feel tight. If the swelling is near a joint in your body, such as an elbow or knee, it may become harder to bend and move this body part. Often the swelling is less in the morning, after you have been lying down through the night, and becomes worse during the day when you are up. Some people with lymphedema have a tingling feeling, like pins and needles, or may have an ache in this area. If lymphedema increases, the swollen body tissue may start to feel spongy and leave an indent when you push on the skin. 
Sometimes the skin in this area becomes thick or hardened. The skin may also become shiny and may not grow hair. Blisters or small growths may appear on this part of your body. Treatment for lymphedema is focused on making your symptoms better or to keep them from getting worse. Treatments are often provided in a clinic setting. Your doctor, nurse, or physical therapist can help you find the right treatments for you. They will also teach you how to manage this problem at home. Ask your doctor if it would be helpful for you to see a healthcare professional with special training in lymphedema, such as a certified lymphedema therapist. The James Cancer Hospital in Columbus, Ohio has a team of healthcare professionals and lymphedema therapists who can check your lymphedema and develop a treatment plan to meet your needs. You will be taught how to care for your skin in the area where you have lymphedema or areas at risk for developing this problem. The goal is to keep the skin healthy and free of infection. Infection or injury can make lymphedema worse and lead to even more tissue damage. Infection in the area affected by lymphedema can be hard to treat and may put you at risk of becoming very ill. Good care of your skin should include keeping your skin clean. Skin that is dry and cracked can be an entry point for infection. Put lotion on each day to prevent dry, chapped skin. Choose a lotion with a low pH that is free of perfumes and dyes. Use an amount that quickly soaks into the skin especially if used on your feet. Lotion not rubbed completely into the feet might cause you to slip and fall. As directed, use sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or above and insect repellent when you are outside. To lower your chance of infection, you should also take actions to prevent cuts, scratches, or injuries to the skin. It is important to protect your skin from bug bites that can cause infection and irritation to the area. Travel to certain areas of the world may increase your risk of infection from certain parasites through bug bites. Keep your pet's nails trimmed. This can help keep you from being scratched. If you shave, use an electric razor to lower your chance of cutting the skin. If you see a cut or change in your skin, watch it closely and treat it right away, as directed by your doctor. Each day, check your body for changes or breaks in the skin. Use a mirror for areas that may be hard to see, like the bottom of your feet. Look for signs of infection that may include redness, pus, rash, red blotches, swelling, tenderness, chills, fever, or areas that are warm to touch. When working outside, wear long sleeves, pants, and shoes with a closed toe and closed heel. Keep your nails short, but be careful when you clip them. If you have a manicure or pedicure, do not have the cuticles cut to reduce the risk of infection. If your arm is affected by lymphedema, make sure you wear heavy gloves when using chemicals, doing outside work or gardening. Use a thimble when sewing. If your leg is affected by lymphedema, you will also need to keep your feet clean and wear clean socks every day. Do not go barefoot, especially outside. Your doctor may suggest you use an antifungal foot powder to prevent athlete's feet. Make sure your shoes fit properly and do not wear tight knee-high socks or pantyhose. Call your doctor right away if you seriously injure the part of your body affected by lymphedema or see any signs of infection. Lymphedema is a lifelong condition 
it is important to know how to take proper care of yourself. Your health care team will encourage regular exercise, good nutrition, and hydration. Other ways to help with lymphedema include do not use sunbeds, steam rooms, or saunas. Wear clothes, shoes, and jewelry that do not rub or irritate your skin. Do not lift heavy items with your affected arm. This includes not carrying bags or heavy objects with shoulder straps on this arm. When possible, do not have your blood pressure, shots, blood draws, or IVs put in your affected arm. You may find it helpful to wear a medical alert necklace or bracelet to let healthcare workers know about this problem. When traveling, try to keep your muscles active by doing ankle pumps and squeezing a ball in your hand. Limit your use of salt. Do not stand or sit for long periods. Do not cross your legs while sitting. Ask your doctor how to treat cuts, scratches, bug bites, or other small injuries if they happen to the part of your body with lymphedema. Lymphedema may cause changes in how you look. This may affect how you feel about your body and sexuality. When needed, reach out to those who give you support and ask for help. Professional counseling or a support group may also be helpful. It is important to call the doctor right away if you have changes in the size, color, or temperature in the area of your body with lymphedema. Let your doctor know about any cuts, rashes, or changes in feeling in this area. Call if you have less flexibility or are unable to move or bend your affected arm or leg, or see any signs of infection, including increased redness, pain, swelling, blistering, skin that is warm to touch, or a fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Tell your doctor if you have increased redness or drainage from an existing wound or any new symptoms in an area with lymphedema. We hope this information has helped you better understand the importance of self-care for your lymphedema. Write down any questions you might have for your healthcare team and bring them with you to each appointment. We are honored to care for you during your cancer treatment. Thank you for choosing the James.